Press Reader provides access to thousands of current newspapers and magazines from dozens of countries and in dozens of languages. Read the full text or original print view of popular titles like the Winnipeg Sun, the Toronto Star, Calgary Herald, National Post, Edmonton Journal, and many more. Unlike our other digital resources, PressReader uses a hotspot system for providing free access. If you are within range of a PressReader Wi-Fi hotspot, like the free Wi-Fi available at Winnipeg Public Library branches, and if you're signed in to your free PressReader account, you get 48 hours of complimentary access to the PressReader website and app. If you have not been within range of a PressReader hotspot within the past two days, you will be seen as an individual PressReader subscriber and be asked to pay for the newspapers and magazines that you are interested in downloading. If you're not within range of one of our library branches, you can still get free access to PressReader through the Winnipeg Public Library website, which will act as a virtual hotspot and provide 48 hours of free access to your PressReader account. Let's walk through the steps so you can see how it works. Go to our website at winnipeg.ca slash library. Click on the databases button. From here, you can click on the letter P or scroll down the page until you see the press reader link. Once you click on the link, you'll be asked to sign in with your library card. Enter your complete library card number with no spaces and then your PIN. Your PIN is normally the last four digits of your phone number unless you have specified otherwise. Once you click the sign in button, you'll be taken to the press reader's website through our virtual hotspot. You can then browse through some of the highlighted newspapers and magazines. PressReader features thousands of newspapers and magazines from around the world and in many languages. You can use the limiters on the left side of the screen to just show you the content from a particular country, content in a particular language, on a particular subject, or a select publication type. So for example, I can select publications from Canada and then limit it to newspapers. You can also use the search box in the top right corner. I'll search for content related to Winnipeg. The initial search shows me any articles that mention Winnipeg by name. I can use the limiter on the left side of the screen to show me publications with Winnipeg in the name, which at this time shows me the Winnipeg Sun. You can also type the name of a publication in the search bar. I'll search for the Toronto Star. When it pops up in the search results, I can click on it to go directly to the latest edition. You'll notice the calendar being displayed. The shaded dates indicate past editions that are available for viewing. Click on a date to view that issue of the paper. Some publications have up to three months worth of issues you can check out. You can zoom in for a closer look by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. When you zoom in, the screen may take a moment to update. Click and drag on the screen to move around. On the bottom left of the screen, you can choose between the page view, which shows you the publication as it appeared in print, or the text view, which you may find easier to read. You can switch back and forth between these views as you wish. Clicking on a headline in the print view will automatically open the article in text view for you. Along the bottom, there's a navigation aid that shows the different sections of the newspaper or magazine. You can click on a section heading to skip ahead to that section without scrolling or click dragging. If I move over to the left side of the screen, you'll see the option to add this newspaper to my publications. When I click on this, PressReader prompts me to log in to a PressReader account, which is an optional account you can use to personalize your PressReader experience. If you don't have a PressReader account, you can create a free account quickly and easily. You can also sign in or create an account from the sign in button at the top right of the screen. Now that I'm signed in, I can add the Toronto Star to my list of publications. While signed in, I can access additional options by clicking on the three horizontal lines on the top left corner of the screen. This includes a personalized news feed and a list of publications you've added to your My Publications list. Another handy feature of your account is that you can save articles for later reading. Let's say you find an interesting article you want to keep for later. You can right-click on the article to bring up a list of options, then click Save to Collection. You can create a new collection or select one you've already started. To find your saved articles, click on the three horizontal lines and click on your name. Your collections will be on the left side of the screen. You can click on the titles to read the articles.
You can visit the Help Center at any time to learn more about this service and how to use it. PressReader also offers apps for your electronic devices. Find them in your device's app store. In order to get free access to PressReader through the app, you first need to visit PressReader through Winnipeg Public Library's website as we did earlier and log in to a PressReader account. This gives your account 48 hours of free access. Logging into this account is the only way the app knows that you have visited a hotspot and thus qualify for free access. After you log into your PressReader account on the app, you'll see a pop-up that shows how much time you still have available. In this case, I still have one day and 23 hours left before I have to visit a hotspot again. I'll tap the X in the top left corner of the pop-up to get to the main press reader screen. The app is similar to the website experience, except you tap instead of clicking on things, and tap and drag to navigate around. In order to bring up the right-click context menu, just tap and hold for a moment on the screen, and the menu will pop up. The buttons on the left side of the screen include your collections of saved articles, which will include all the articles you saved previously. We hope you enjoy using PressReader. If you have any questions or problems, don't forget to use the Ask Us feature on our website. Happy reading!